Hey guys, welcome back to the fourth episode of AI Pulse and it's been an achievement for me posting fourth consecutive episode of this amazing series where I discuss all the AI news and happenings. The milestone is small but we need to celebrate the smaller things in order to wait for the bigger ones. Now this week has also been a massive one for AI and I believe the coming weeks will also be massive like this one only because AI has been developing at a very fast pace and we will continue to see this rapid development for a significant amount of time going forward as well. Now let's discuss, shall we? Now the first news is from Canva where Canva is integrating multiple AI features into its Magic Studio. This new feature includes AI generated video through a partnership with Runway. They also set up a $200 million fund to pay creators when their work is used to train Canva models. So I believe Canva is using a lot of money in order to pay their creators so that they can get their data in the term of their videos, photos and all the other creations that they do. And it's also amazing to see Canva going so much forward with all the AI tools and features. And before that also Canva has been delivering a lot of cool features that too free of cost. Now the second news is from Rewind where Rewind has introduced Rewind Pendant this week which is a wearable device that captures what you say and hear in the real world. Yes AI is here in the uh, wearable devices and AI is here, here to stay in all, the, all of these devices. So Rewind Pendant will record what you say, will hear what you say in real world and the major application of it that I believe is that it will uh, remember everything that you do on a daily basis and if you want you know a summary or transcription of what you did in that particular day you can just go to your uh, pendant and access all the information that you did. So AI will remember everything that you do on a day to day basis so it's easier for you to forget everything. So the next news is coming from Harvard where a new study from Harvard found that consultants make more mistakes using AI for unfamiliar tasks despite the productivity gains. So this is a very shocking announcement from Harvard and this survey clearly indicates that we are not using AI to its full potential while being at our full potential because people are just getting lazy because of AI and they just think that AI will do everything but this is not true and this report clearly suggests that. We also need to use our mind to the full extent that we use and use AI so that we can do tasks which earlier we were not able to do. Suppose if I were if I am capable of doing two tasks related to programming then with AI I would be able to do five tasks with uh, AI just because AI knows the other three tasks. So it increases my productivity but I also used to I also have to use my brain in order to get the full output. Now the other news is coming from LinkedIn where LinkedIn announced a slew of new features for recruiting, learning, marketing and sales. So you all know LinkedIn is a gold mine for all the type of data for employees and for companies and this data can be used for AI optimization and this integration is I think a very win-win situation for both the job seekers and recruiters because as a job seeker you can use the AI in order to generate a lot of things on LinkedIn just like your cover letters, your introduction messages and for recruiters also it's easy to track down what type of employees they want. So it's a win-win situation on LinkedIn for both the job seekers and the recruiters. Now the other news is coming from Adobe where Adobe gave us a sneak peek of its upcoming AI powered photo editing tool called Project Stardust. And before it was Canva, then Google and now Adobe, the creative arms race is reaching its escape velocity because all of these companies are running towards the AI in image creation and image modifications. And you know Adobe is a very big player in image modification be it their Photoshop or Lightroom tool. So it will be good to see how much they price this tool for the first and how well this tool works. Now the other news is from Human where Human unveiled its long awaited AI pin variable in the Paris runaway this weekend. So I have discussed the AI variable from Rewind and this is the other variable from Human where they have announced the AI pin variable in the Paris runaway this weekend. This startup will also fully reveal the standalone gadget on November 9 with the much of its utility still being a mystery. So we have to wait till November 9 to know what exactly this AI pen can do. But 
As I told you earlier, this AI gadgets are here to stay and are here to track you, record you and do whatever it takes to get fully optimized data for you. Now, the last news is coming from Spotify where Spotify appears to be experimenting with AI powered playlists according to a code found within the app by its tech investor Chris Messina. So while Spotify declined to confirm, the code suggested the feature would allow users to generate playlists based on prompts. So just imagine you are writing something like, I want to add the songs of Taylor Swift or uh, say in Punjabi Karan Ojla or anyone in your playlist and AI just add all the songs of your famous singers, beat AP Dylan and all the other ones. So it's very cool to see you can use the prompts to just create a playlist on Spotify and I would be really looking forward towards this feature because in Apple Music you I don't think you will get anything like this very soon so if Spotify announced this I might probably move from Apple Music so let's see what happens but these are all the news from this week and I think AI is moving very rapidly week by week day by day and the day is not far when will say that we have tool for every major activity that we do on our day day to day basis. So let's see what happens and my 75 hour day with AI challenge is also going really well and it will be one month for this challenge in this week. So I'm really looking forward to share the learnings with you all what I have learned, what are the uh, things I need to learn now because uh, I still have a lot of days to go and what is the pathway that I followed and I have to follow. I'll discuss everything with you all but it's been an amazing journey and it changed me as a person as a whole. So it's been amazing and I hope you will like this video and you like all my other content as well and your feedback and comments are always appreciated. So do like this video, do comment on this video, do watch my other stuff as well and your support will be highly appreciated and if you like my work um, a like on this video will also be very appreciated so that's it for this video thank you guys and i will see you all in the next one really really soon